Hello guys, I'm Mark Newton from the School of Photography and you can find us at theschoolofphotography.com where we teach you the best in photography education. Now in my classes, I often get asked, is it worth buying an expensive lens? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a series of shots with a standard kit lens here and a more professional and more expensive L-series lens. We're using the Canon equipment here to see the difference between the two. So let's put it to the test and let's find out. Now I've never done this before, so I'm just as interested in you to find out what the results are gonna be. Um, we're gonna use two types of lenses. One is the 18 to 55 IS lens, and that's just a standard kit lens that you'll get with any Canon camera. This is the Canon 750D, so we're just gonna use a mid, good mid-range camera with the standard kit lens. And then we're gonna compare it with this lens here, which is the Canon 24 to 105 L series lens. Let's to put it into cost uh, differences. This one cost me about 850 pounds to buy a few years back, and there's a new version out now that is over a thousand pounds. Whereas this one here, they pretty much give away with your camera body, so they sell it as a kit, but if you wanted to buy it separately, I think it's around about 139 pounds. So that's the difference in cost between the two. Let's see how they perform. Right, so I'm gonna set the camera to AV, the aperture priority setting, and I'm gonna put the aperture onto F5.6. I'm putting the ISO on 100, and I'm gonna put it on its two second timer on a tripod so that everything stays still. Then I'm gonna take two pictures, one with the standard kit lens, which is on at the minute, and then one with the L-series lens. And the idea is, let's test the sharpness of the lens. Here we go. Okay, so that's the image with the kit lens. Now let's change it to the L-series lens. Okay, so I've now changed the lens. I've kept the focal length exactly the same, which was 35 mil on both lenses. So everything should be exactly the same. Let's take the second shot. Okay, great. We need to look at them on screen. Let's go and take uh, a few more shots first. Okay, so the next shot I thought I would take would be to test chromatic aberration. So I'm gonna shoot the edge of this building here. We're at a slightly wider angle now. I'm gonna shoot them both at 24 mil focal length. And, um, and just to let you know as well, we're, we're only shooting JPEG, not RAW. I'm just shooting medium JPEG. So let's take the first shot with the kit lens. Okay, great. Now I'm gonna change the lens and take another shot. Yeah, good. So just to explain chromatic aberration very quickly, it's to do with the different wavelengths of light bending in different ways through the elements of your lens. And what it causes is a color around the edges of parts of your image, normally a purple color or sometimes a green color. And that's what chromatic aberration is. And generally the rule is the more expensive the lens that you buy, the less that that happens. So we'll test that out and we'll see the difference of them too back on the computer. Okay, now I'm gonna test for color. So I'm gonna shoot this lovely dandelion down here. I've also zoomed in a bit more as well. So I'm on 50 mil focal length and I'm gonna take two shots um, with each lens. This is the kit lens again. Okay, great, let's change the lens. Yep, good. Okay, so we've just done three quick tests there, one for sharpness, one for chromatic aberration, and one for color. Now let's go onto the computer and see the differences between the two. Okay, we're back in the studio now and have it, I've had a real good look at all of these pictures to see the difference between the two. Now clearly, if you buy a much more expensive lens, it's gonna be of a better quality. That's not what this video is about. This video is about how much better is a pro lens and is it really worth you spending your money on it? And I'm telling you now, the verdict was very surprising for me. And before we come to the pictures and I show you what we found, I want to tell you about the online courses we've got at theschoolofphotography.com. 
If you want to learn photography properly so that the knowledge stays in your head and you can use it forever, come over to the schooloffotography.com where we have got a range of online courses for you to try out. Okay, let's have a look at some of these pictures. The first one that we did was the wall picture. And we took the wall picture to test for sharpness. Now, as you can see on the focus point on both pictures, they are really sharp, pin sharp in fact. They both did a really, really good job. The difference that I found in the two lenses is that the Pro lens, the L series lens, in the out of focus part, if you like, in the blurry part, it had much more contrast in the lights and darks, and you don't see that as much in the kit lens. But we was testing for sharpness, and as sharpness goes, both of them lenses performed really, really similar. So the next thing that we tested for was chromatic aberration. Now this one was really surprising to me because I cannot see hardly any difference between the cheap kit lens and the really expensive pro lens. With chromatic aberration, you would expect a pro lens to be, to be performing you know, 10 times better. But as you can see in these two shots, there's not much difference between the two. Now, it was a soft light day, it was a cloudy day, and it was around about midday, and you know, you don't get much chromatic aberration in that kind of light. So you could argue that the test wasn't really uh, pushing it too much because with chromatic aberration, when you've got the light at a lower angle and the light's a different color, let's say a sunset, that's when you really see it. But as it stands for the test that we did, hardly any difference between the two. And that's really surprising to me. The next thing that we looked at was color. Now this is where you can see a clear difference between the two. The L series lens, the Pro lens, clearly outperforms the kit lens. There is much more contrast in the tones, there is much more depth in the color, you can see that in the yellow flower there. So, you know, you can clearly see that the Pro lens is much better for capturing a more of a variation of tones and colors in your shots. So here's my verdict. I was really surprised at how well the kit lens stacked up against the L series lens. And if you are on a budget, use your kit lens. Why not? It performs really well. It comes with the camera. It's very cheap. And why not use that? If, however, you've got the money and you want to progress forward in photography, then I do always suggest that you upgrade your lenses first before your body. So if you've got the money and you want to upgrade, then of course get the pro lens. It is a better lens, but not by much in my opinion. Okay, I hope that's helped you out. I certainly had a lot of fun doing it and was surprised by the results. Don't forget, we have a wonderful learning community over on Facebook and Instagram and social media, so come and join us over there and come over to the schooloffotography.com where we have a range of online courses to push your photography forward. Thanks for watching and remember, learn more at the School of Photography.